I'm going to try something a little different going forward. Uh, I've been kind of posting uh, ad hoc. Basically, when I create a video, I upload it. <laughs> And so sometimes there are three videos a day and sometimes there's no videos for a few days. I'm going to try to limit my uploads to one video a day just so there's not a dump of videos and then nothing for the next couple of days. Um, I don't, I haven't been on any schedule to make videos. Um, I just kind of, as I get inspired, I make a video and I upload it. Uh, but this theme is going to go on for a while uh, with my builds and stuff. So I'm probably just going to limit uh, updates to one a day. <laughs> that's something, that's my plan. I'm sure it's going to change and I'm going to upload whenever I feel like it. But, um, but, um, okay. So about this video, uh, for today, uh, I just got off a call. My friend Jeff is running a, um, oh, what do you call it? Well, it's basically a zoom chat, but it's not zoom. It's that other one that's always been advertised lately. Um, with a bunch of his friends, including me. Thank you. For, thank you, Jeff. Uh, and, uh, he, he is very, very, um, uh, enthusiastic about my theme here, uh, that I'm working on and he wanted me to talk about it. So I talked and bored everybody else with it. And I'm sorry I talked so much about it. <laughs> so my apologies for boring people. Um, but, uh, so I got to talk about it and, and then even through the call, I was inspired to change up a few things and Jeff had a few ideas. Um, and other people in the call had a few ideas that um i wanted to try because i again i built these things the other day and i i built the digger for one uh, it's an add-on it's a it's a feature now basically you have a one by two technic brick there um these are falling down <laughs> behind behind the camera um and, and and then the original of course was the was the uh the bulldozer the dozer uh that again oops magnets everywhere that, that that also comes off because it's a one by two uh technic brick in there with a hole um so i i was trying to come up with other ideas last other ideas last night uh and even talking to jeff today uh after the show uh after the public show we were talking privately uh with the four of us and um uh I, I wanted to add more, quote unquote, more features. Now, Jeff had some good ideas uh, for for additional uh, stuff to plug into the front of these things. Uh, but one of the things we started talking about was basically this guy. It's a magnet. <laughs> and, and so basically it's um, a couple old click bricks, click hinge bricks. Uh, again, the... the the pin that goes into the Technic hole, um, and then the magnet in the end. Uh, and so what this accomplishes, um, I don't like that, it's not swiveling. I think I'll have to get a gray one. Um, excuse me, I just have to get a gray uh, axle pin. This gray, the, the magnet can swivel the black one, because this is not the, um, this is not the axle uh, pin for the wheels. <laughs> this is actually a friction one. So I need a frictionless one so this thing can spin. Is this one friction or frictionless? Oh, that's friction too. So I put a black one in there too. Just a sec. I'm gonna get rid of these black friction axle pegs, axle pins, and grab a gray one. So that was an oversight on my part, obviously. Um, so basically I'm using the, uh, the click hinges. Um, so there's a click hinge there and it goes on to a two by a two brick. Hopefully I'm, it's being broken now. Sometimes these, these click, I don't like that. It's really loose. I better do this on screen. I'm going to replace that one if I have another. Put another one over here somewhere. Um, I don't off the out of my bin, so I'll just get rid of this whole thing. Put this guy on. <laughs> this is why I build multiples, uh, because I think this piece is broken. Because it's not grabbing this one. This one is grabbing. You can see it clicking. This one just is very smooth. Too easy to move. Uh, but I'm gonna replace that. So, anywho, this is the idea. So now we have a vehicle that can pick up these things and move them around uh, so they get this in the scene so not only do I have a shovel and a dozer but now I have a, a piece uh, um, a rover that can help build 
the platform um, using magnets. So the idea is, and I put a roll cage in this one, but we'll talk about that in a second. It's not really a good roll cage because it's still, <laughs> but um, so basically, let me get rid of these guys. I don't know. Uh, these things have to be put together. And so this thing would be able to lift this thing and then the guys would fit it into place and, you know, build it like that, right? And this connects and this goes away, goes on to his next job. Um, the issue came, like this one is a pretty small piece, but you can see it just, oh. <laughs> and I can't make the rover much heavier. Really, I can't not make the rover much heavier. So if you get this piece, again, if you get the big piece here, this thing, if it's just back center of gravity is back here, sure, not a problem, right? But you extend it just a little bit, it falls down. So I needed to prevent that without adding weight to the rover. So instead of these things just being a roll cage, <laughs> they are an outrigger. So uh, they can go way out there and they can hold up. There we go. And they should be basically the same. And so when you have this piece on here, ta-da, and then you can go way out there, ta-da. <laughs> so, so basically in universe, this thing would be held up, um, even a little lower, lower, like a little, whatever, like right where you want it. Um, and then th this thing would drive in into the view and then it would be just lowered into place and put on there by the, by the uh, technicians. Um, and then this one would lift up and these things would go up back up here. And drive away. Okay, so that works pretty well. But the big question is, is this guy. <laughs> and so as I say, this isn't gonna work at all, right? So all of a sudden you have to get these these uh, outriggers coming out. Um, I, I like these click hinges. I never really built with them before. I'm starting to really, really appreciate them uh, and the uh, versatility that they, they display for whatever I want them to do. Um, I should have worked with them a long time ago. Uh, I'm kind of regretting that I didn't. But now, this thing. Let me click these out. One. So now this thing holds up that guy, <laughs> like that. And again, so you go like that, and this thing comes into view, and basically the, the, the guys would put it on there, and this thing would drive away. So that is an addition to, uh, it's a quick mod to the base of the rover unit. It's not like I haven't modded this thing 17,000 times, but, <laughs> but uh, in order for this magnet thing to work, the, the outriggers have to be part of the actual um, rover. And again, when they're done, you just go like that, curve them back, and however you want to do it. Um, and they hide just like that. And then they go on to the next job. So I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. I was trying to get them to be flat, but that's not going to work. So like I was trying to loop them in with one another um kind of like this ish right but that just kind of looks wonky i think this looks a little more professional and it does give it as a, a roll cage look to it when it's driving around um and and the outriggers go with it so um so now i have three separate add-ons to the rover where's my third there it is um <clears throat> i may uh, replace these. I have, I, I have these in black, I think. Um, cause I'm liking the black. So this is my quick bin of old style people bricks. <laughs> and this is gray. Uh, but if I'm very careful, I can, without breaking, <laughs> that's always the problem with these guys. They break very easy. So this is one arm from back in the day. So this is the top uh, arm, this is the elbow, and this is the bottom arm. And they took the like the, the yellow hand would go in here, right? You guys might remember that from the old homemaker sets. Um, but these are the pieces that you need, and you need a bunch. 
Uh, so I might replace this gray here with four or five pieces of these things. If I have enough, um, I mean, let's see how that looks, but I think I have enough here while we get in the line. Because again, I'm not going to do another video until tomorrow now. <laughs> so, and I think that's going to be better for you guys. I think it's going to be better for me. I'm not thinking that I have to get all these videos done in one day. Um, again, I'm not doing this for hits. I'm not doing this for um, anything besides the fact that I, I, I like like my hobby and I like um, making videos. Uh, so I don't mind reducing the number to, uh, so there's a row of six. And so I'm just gonna take this, these gray ones off of here and take this end off, which is a two, put that in there. Put this on here, there's that. And then there's that. And that is now all gray. I mean, all black, and I think that's much better. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to make all my um, utensils and these things, all my additions to these things, just black, because this is working out fine. So I got these three things. Uh, Jeff gave me a few more ideas, so that might be tomorrow's video if I get around to it. But I'm liking this, and so I'm going to modify these two uh, with the same roll bar slash outrigger infrastructure that this guy has and i think that's perfectly fine uh there's ways of making this thing look a little neater um i'm not going to worry about it too much um in the end it uh it's serving a purpose other than a roll cage which adds even more ideas to whoops the uh, the issue of course with quick hinges that you have to keep on adjusting especially when you got many parts but i like that it doesn't look too bad um and it's not it's not a huge modification basically you take off these side panels and and replace them with this thing and i have enough uh dark gray old pieces of click hinges uh round click hinges uh pieces that i can do that and then um reinforcing because the the one by two brick I mean, the one by two plate kept on popping off when you're trying to move this thing around so just to you know put a <clears throat> a tile on top just to hold it there <laughs> so uh so the next time i'll have these two modified to look like this um again it adds the roll cage feature ish uh to it um and in the end i think that might be too big i think i think when they put the four on the um but it does have to get so i did modify the trailer too just made the, the dump uh part bigger um just so i i kept consistency with the wheels because i wasn't liking just the two wheels because it always seemed off center so now this is three and um, basically there you go. Um, I think it looks a little more to scale and it looks like it can actually hold stuff, uh, when you're cleaning up an area to drop the moon base down. Um, actually let's use the, this one, cause that's now what I'm using. Um, I think that looks perfectly fine. The gray and grays match, orange and orange. I'm going to get this piece of orange too. Um, I think that's perfectly acceptable. Uh, for um, my rover and trailer. So that's what I'm going to modify the other two to look like. So that's my video for tonight. Um, maybe I'll have one tomorrow night. I think uh, tomorrow's Thursday. I'm going to see how busy I am. I like to do some some, some stuff around the house. and uh, But we'll see. So I want everybody out there to stay safe. Take care. Wear a mask. <laughs> Please. Uh, a lot of us haven't got our first shot yet. We're still waiting, although it should be soon. Um, but we still have a whole bunch of people in this world that um, we have to be concerned about. So, um, but that's the end of my preaching. And I will talk to you guys later. Stay safe. Take care. Talk to you soon.